Four years ago, Rodney Kelly began what might seem an impossible campaign to convince museums in Britain to return artefacts once owned by his Indigenous tribe. One of the items is a wooden shield in the British Museum, which many believe was held by Mr Kelly's ancestors when Captain Cook arrived in 1770. The museum says it can't repatriate the shield, but for the first time it has invited Mr Kelly to inspect the item. He spoke with Europe correspondent Bridget Brennan in London. So Rodney, it's been a really momentous week for you being here at the British Museum. I know you've been here a few times, but tell us why was this week so significant for you and for your people? Yeah, this week was very significant because, you know, I was the first one, um, you know, first descendant from the man who was there that day to actually hold the, the shield and yeah, get up close and personal and touch it, hold it and just feel its power. What was that moment for you like? I've seen some photos where you've got it lifted up, you're actually smelling the wood and, and looking at the markings on the shield. Was that an emotional moment for you? I was very proud and happy um, while I was touching it, holding it. But uh, no, once I knew I had to walk away, so that was the hard part, that walking away, and that's when it got emotional and, and sad that you know, I'm, I'm walking away and leaving this shield here and that was hard to deal with. What's the campaign been like for you over the years, trying to um, have discussions with the museum and, and you really want to see that shield come back into Australian uh, ownership and back in your people's hands. What's that journey been like for you? Yeah, it's been a hard journey and a long journey. Uh, you know, the deeper I go, you know, the more I'm finding out that you know, so many things are against repatriation. Uh, you know, you've got laws, you've got um, these people with power just totally against um, the word re repatriation. The further I get into this campaign, the more I'm finding out that just so many people are against, you know, repatriation. Why is it that you want that shield back in your people's hands? I mean, millions of people come here to the British Museum and learn about our history. Why is it important for you to actually bring it home? Yeah, I get that argument all the time that millions of people get to see the shield on a, you know, every year. But back home, there's a real need for true history to be told and for the young to relearn their culture and, you know, have an identity. So, Whatever reasons they come up with, you know, the significance to our culture um, and to be able to relearn all that, that things and, and tell true history, you know, far outweighs visitors that come here and just stroll past the shield without really knowing the significance of it. So, yeah, it's just all about teaching the young, teaching the, you know, non-Aboriginal people back home, all about that first day and, and everything that's come after that first day in 1770. So it's just all about telling true history and giving young youth their identity.